Welcome to our presentation about e-learning for food safety and GMP for storage and distribution. Training that's written and developed by Technica, the industry's most trusted food safety compliance experts. As part of the presentation pack, which accompanies this video, you'll find a PDF copy of the course specification. We've also provided a sample of the PDF lesson guide, which learners can download when they start training. Don't worry if you haven't seen these just yet, you can print them out at the end of the presentation and look at their content in more detail. Meet the makers at Technica. As a team, we've combined our skills and qualifications to create for you the Food Safety and GMP e-learning course and training dashboard, which is the subject of this presentation you've requested. Steph O'Brien is our creative on the team, he's our resident graphic designer, visual editor and application developer. Steph has an impressive track record, as he's worked with some of the biggest brands in the food industry. Steph is responsible for bringing together the training visually, so the learner can relate to the equipment and scenes that we use in our e-learning courses. Before joining Technica, Steph ran his own digital marketing company, and now, we are lucky to have his skills and expertise that we use in every area of the business. Steph has a BA Honours Fine Art degree and over 20 years experience in digital marketing. Cassie Marsh is the author and narrator of our e-learning courses. She has worked in the food industry for over 20 years in various management roles related to compliance, technical and NPD, before becoming self-employed and the owner of Technica Consulting Limited. Her technical expertise is second to none, so you can be confident the training has all the required elements needed for your operatives. Her qualifications include a BSc Honours Degree in Food Technology, HACCP Level 4, and Food Safety Level 4. She has also trained extensively and developed software applications that we use today in our business. Cassie has dedicated her time in providing the industry with training, software and documentation that she says must always add value, which is her number one catchphrase. Mel Allen is our publications editor and assessment writer. She has a varied background working in many business sectors over the past 30 years. Mel works on the assessment side of our e-learning courses, writing questions and ensuring that learning outcomes are covered from the vast array of subject areas we cover. She creates our lesson guides and writes our supporting documentation, such as specifications, and also looks after the test results for question analysis. Mel has a level 3 qualification in training principles and practice and has undertaken a study of question writing specifically for this role. Her experience working in the education sector for a number of years also ensures that our spelling, grammar and punctuation is both accurate and focused on learner requirements. When you purchase a course, we'll set your business up with a training dashboard that looks like this. The training dashboard works using a credit system. You just load it with credits, and then you can spend them on any of the courses that we provide. A food safety and GMP training course is just one credit. Any of our mini training courses are also one credit. The larger super courses, such as internal auditing, product defense or maintenance, are priced depending on the number of units within them. One credit is £26, but the more credits you buy the cheaper they are. If you buy 10 or more credits, you get a 10% discount, and if you buy 100 or more, you get a 20% discount. Credits can be purchased through the website, with a credit card, or we can invoice you. It's totally up to you. The credits don't expire, and they're not used until a learner starts the course. This means that you can put as many learners onto your training dashboard as you like, and it won't cost you anything. It also means that you don't lose credits where learners leave before they've started a course. Your training dashboard can be set up so that you have different sites under one business, and you can also split the training by department if you wish. This means that you can set up a system administrator for each site, and even one for each department. This allows the administrators to log in 
and track just the learners that they're responsible for. To add a learner is simple. Just press the Add User button. Give them a username and password, assign them to a site and department, and then assign the course or courses that you want them to do. When the learner then logs into the portal, using the login details that you've created for them, they will see their Are My Courses page. From here, they can then start any of the courses that have been assigned to them. The learner also has a number of forms of help too, just in case they get stuck. They can go to our knowledge base, where there are help guides. Or they can use the instant chat function, so that we can immediately answer any of their questions or tackle any problems that they may have. To start the course, the learner just needs to press the Start Course button. Each course has a written introduction and a lesson guide. We would recommend that you download and print out the lesson guide so it can be kept in the training room or with the training laptop if you have one. Some learners like to read to learn, so having the lesson guide printed out will aid their learning. We also find that learners who don't have English as their first language also benefit from being able to refer to the lesson guide. The glossary is here, so if learners don't understand a word or term, they can look it up. The course is split into 10 video units. As the learner completes a unit, these buttons will turn green. Clicking these buttons will also allow the learner to go back to any of the previous videos that they've completed, if they would like to cover any of the information again. Let's go through the 10 units, specific to your product sector. The units take the learner through an induction to the site, starting with an introduction, where we explain how to use the course, and that they are being inducted to this specific site. This is important, as the learner needs to understand that their site may be slightly different, for example, that your site may have different color coding. In Unit 2, the learner meets Neil at security, who directs them to reception, to sign in with Trisha. They learn about security, access to the site, and then the signing in process, before they then go to the training room with Barbara. During Unit 3, the learner completes their induction, where they learn the fundamental aspects of product safety and GMP. Barbara then passes the learner to Carmen, who shows them around the outside of the site. During Unit 4 they learn about pest control, product security to prevent malicious contamination, waste, and the smoking area. This course covers bulk deliveries, so Carmen also explains how these are managed. Unit 5 takes the learner into the staff entrance and into the employee corridor, where they look at the notice board, locker room, canteen, and first aid room. Unit 6 is all about accepting the materials at intake, how to check the vehicles when they arrive, and offloading the goods. When the materials are ready, the learner then moves into the processing area to complete Unit 7. Here, they first go into the office to meet the product safety team and learn about hazard analysis and product safety controls such as CCPs, OPRPs, and PCs. This aspect of the course is equivalent to Level 2 HACCP. During their tour of the processing area, Ali, Aliyah, and Ben explain their process and the GMP controls which are important to the product. We also build on their product safety knowledge and teach them the specifics for the product safety controls on site. Unit 8 develops the learner's understanding of cleaning principles as they go into the washroom. In Unit 9, Mariam introduces the key elements of picking to ensure that we dispatch the right product in the right quantities. Finally, the learner visits Ste in dispatch to look at storage, temperature control, pest control, loading checks and dispatch paperwork before finally getting changed to leave site. The learner moves through the course using the icons. The information is provided in written and verbal format. 
During the course, the learner will complete games and exercises to keep them interested and solidify their learning. Once the learner has completed the course, there's a 25 question multiple choice test. The test is open book, so they can use the lesson guide. This is because we're not testing the learner's memory, we're testing if they've understood what they've been taught. The course includes a bank of more than 600 questions. Each question is assigned to a learning outcome. The system takes 25 questions at random, picked evenly from each of the learning outcomes. This ensures that the learner is tested against all of the learning outcomes for the course. If the learner fails the test, they can then go back and cover any part of the course again or refer to the lesson guide. When they're ready, they can then do the test again. They can do the test as many times as they like, it doesn't cost any more credits. However, each time they fail, it will be logged on the system so that the administrator can see that they're struggling. When they do the test again, the system will pick another 25 questions at random from each of the learning outcomes. This means it's unlikely that they'll get the same questions twice, and so, they can't learn to pass the test, they have to have understood what they've been taught. When they pass the course, they can view their certificate. The certificate's also stored on both their My Courses page and on the business's training dashboard for auditing purposes. So, why should you choose our e-learning when there are so many others to choose from out there? We're not just any training company, we're food safety compliance experts first and foremost. We create training based on what we're knowledgeable about, we don't use third parties to create the content, write the questions, or manage our systems or software. Everything in our courses, from design to delivery, is done in-house by our small but mighty team of three. This means we can be flexible for our customers, you always know who you're dealing with, and you get amazing customer service. It also means that we can make decisions quickly, keep pace with the industry, and implement fast change, if this is needed. We think our food safety and GMP training is one of a kind, the most up-to-date, and has the most relevance. After this presentation, we think you'll agree. Here are some details about how we make sure our online cloud-based training is safe, secure, and reliable for your business. If there are some of your IT crowd watching this presentation, this is where they can get their geek on and maybe explain some of these terms to you. Our learning management system is hosted and runs from an ISO 27001 accredited UK data center. It's powered by the latest generation SSD hardware and is configured to scale with additional load. The data on the LMS is TLS encrypted, so all of the data in transit is encrypted with secure protocols. Our password management strategy includes a best practice, hashing and sorting algorithm in our database. We have authenticated user and role permissions. 24-7 performance and 99% uptime. And last but not least, we are GDPR compliant. Our dashboard is completely free and requires no installation. You can create as many learner profiles as you need. You can track learner progress and manage all of your training in one place. Learners get a certificate instantly to download following successful completion. You can even ask us to add your own business logo. The dashboard will store historic results that learners have achieved. Weekly summary reports can be emailed to admin users. There's quick and easy filtering and searching if you're in a hurry to find records. It's quick and easy to top up your credits. You can request access to our entire range of e-learning courses. And finally, support is always available for your learners and admins. Here you'll find some of the key features of our training content. Relevant. Content, that's to the level of detail needed for operatives. Relatable. Operatives will be able to recognize their everyday activities. Inclusive. Learning styles suitable for all, including those with visual and hearing impairment. Up to date. Newer food safety topics, such as site culture and product authenticity have been included.
logical. The learner takes a journey through a fictional site to aid understanding. Straightforward. The language used for the training is clear and simple to understand. Progressive. The subjects taught in the course are layered and revisited to reinforce learning. Combined. We've removed the need for operatives to have separate food safety and HACCP training as both subjects are included. GFSI compliant. The training includes the requirements that support the site compliance goals. Assessment key points. We believe that learner achievement is key, so we've created an assessment process that supports and encourages this, so the time and money invested by your business adds value and nothing is wasted. Free immediate retests. Learners can take the test as often as needed until they achieve a pass. An open book test. Learners can use their PDF lesson guide in the test to find information about the question. A 70% pass rate. There are just 25 questions with 18 correct answers needed to pass. Multiple choice questions. The questions are simple and concise with plausible wrong answers. Nothing is designed to trick the learner. A large question bank. Our question bank is so large you can be confident in the pass rate as the test cannot be learnt. Linked learning outcomes. All of our questions are linked to learning outcomes to ensure competency in the subject areas. An instant certificate. Admins can download and easily access certificates and training records if they need them during an audit. Pricing and ordering for our food safety and GMP courses. All of our food safety and GMP courses are worth one credit per learner. When your learner clicks their Start Course button on the training dashboard, the credit will be used up. Our credits never expire, so when you purchase them, they will stay on your dashboard until you decide to use them. We offer discount when you want to buy credits in bulk. The more you buy, the more you save. You can purchase credits on our website and pay by card. You can also send us an email and request credits and an invoice, whichever suits your requirements. Remember, we're a flexible business, so we can tailor your purchase process to how you need it. We can get your dashboard set up and working the same day, but if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We have lots of options when it comes to getting help. Learners can use our online chat to quickly and easily talk to us. As it's really us, they can ask anything. We don't use a chatbot or a call center to answer queries on our behalf. We do offer exceptional customer service, and this just one example. Chat is available during office hours. 8.30 a.m. till 5 p.m. daily. We also have a knowledge base. All users can click the help menu in the dashboard to see our range of topics. Our training dashboard also has a glossary. This has been provided to help learners understand food industry terms that are often used in manufacturing. We also have email and phone support. We normally reply to emails within 24 hours and answer calls during office hours. When your learners are engaged in training on our dashboard, you can be confident that we will support them if they get stuck. This will save you valuable time. Please feel free to contact us with any questions you may have about the information supplied in our presentation. That's the end of the presentation. We hope you were able to get all of the information that you needed. Thanks for watching.